Hi everyone, it's Kelly here. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. Glad to have you and thank you for stopping by. Um, we are today talking TBR. So I'm making plans for November and getting my stuff together, ready to go. Um, I've got to say, October did not really go to plan. I made some pretty ambitious ambitious plans for October, uh, which you can see on my October TBR uh, video, uh, but they did not come to fruition. I read a few of the books that I had planned, uh, but not all. So some of them you're going to see reappear today because I really, really do need to read them. Others that you're going to see today are new. Uh, so without any further ado, let me take a sip of tea and let's get into it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with the ones you've seen before. I'm just going to zip through them really quickly. Um, so in my last um, my last TBR video, you would have seen me talking about this book, Journey by Moonlight by Antal Zerb. Um, this is a book I'm reading for a book club. Now, we this actually was kind of my fault for not starting, but also uh, we all had a, a few people had difficulty getting the book so we actually ended up extending this to be over two months we're reading this one so um thank goodness because I definitely wouldn't have gotten it done it would have been a real um struggle to get it done last uh last month so uh I am definitely definitely going to get to Journey by Moonlight this month and in fact I'm hoping that this will be the next book that I pick up but we'll see how we go so that is book number one Oh, excuse you. Excuse you. <laughs> Rude. Okay. Another one that I had on my TBR last month um, was The Overstory by... Ooh. Hey. <laughs> was The Overstory by Richard Powers. Um, I think I said in my last TBR that I was actually hoping to read this one probably it will be a November read. So I have spoken about this one before, so I won't go into too much more detail. It is one that I've been really looking forward to this month. And I've been chatting to a few people um, over on Instagram. If you aren't already um, following me on Instagram and you'd like to, the link will be in the description below. Um, but I've been chatting to a few people and we're, we're geeing each other up. We're going to read this book. It's a bit of a, a thick one. So, um, it's, I guess, just the length of the book makes it a little intimidating. So we're hopefully going to get this one done. This November, yes. The overstory, November, yes. It's a thing that's going to happen. I'm just going to manifest that. <laughs> okay, so the overstory. That's two. Another one that I have already spoken about before is Tender Morsels by Margot Lanigan. Um, unfortunately, I didn't quite get to this one uh, in October. Um, again, it's another thick book, but maybe not quite as thick as the overstory. No, not too bad. 362 pages. So it's a bit thick, but um, definitely doable. So this is definitely on the plan for November to read Tender Morsels. Now, these three I am going to try to get done. So snippy today. So snippy. <laughs> I'm going to try and get those three done in the first two weeks of November because in the second two weeks of November, and it's from the 15th, I'm going to be taking part in a readathon um, for a group that I'm involved in called uh, the Gumption Club. So we're doing a readathon uh, starting from the 15th, going for two weeks. And there are prompts for this readathon. Um, so I have. I've made some plans. I've tried to be smart about it and to uh, include some books that I was already planning on reading where possible, but it actually only ended up being one book that <laughs> that met that. Um, and that is the book Emma. Um, so if you've been following me, you will know that I am uh, reading one Jane Austen book per month in chronological order of publication. Uh, so last month we read uh, Mansfield Park, Prior to that, it was Pride and Prejudice, and prior to that was Sense and Sensibility. So we're up to Emma. Emma's the last of the kind of chunky ones. Uh, let me see how many pages. Well, just over 400 pages, so what, 412 pages. So again, it's, it's a little chunky. I'm, I'm setting myself these targets, and it's 
it's going to be hard. <laughs> it's a lot of reading that I need to get done this month. Um, but yeah, Emma is definitely on the plan. Uh, it's one that I was going to read anyway. It was part of my long-term uh, plans for this year to read this book. It's one I've been looking forward to. I actually haven't read Emma before, and I know that it's a lot of people's favourite Austen. Um, so I'm definitely keen to get to this one um, and to read it, especially after not really enjoying Mansfield Park very much, which I'll talk more about when I do my wrap up for October. Um, so I'm, I'm really hopeful that Emma's going to be um, not an easy read, but a, a breezy read, something that I'll feel compelled to just kind of keep pushing through and getting through kind of quickly because uh, this is going to be within that last two weeks of November. So that this uh, Emma is actually working for two of the prompts uh, from uh, the readathon, uh, one of which is a long term, I think it's the uh, book gathering dust on your TBR. So that's definitely this one. And the other prompt that it works for is um, a place you'd like to visit. So I would love to visit England. I've never been before. Um, and yeah, so that works perfectly. So that's going to work for two of my prompts. Um, the next prompt is a book that begins with a letter from your, uh, the same letter as your first name. So my name's Kelly, starting with a K. Um, so my plan is I don't, we'll see how we go. Um, I've got two options for this plan. One is the Kiss Quotient, which I don't have a physical copy of, but I've got on my Kindle. Um, so the Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, uh, which is one that I've been interested in getting to um, for since I heard about it. It's a romance, but it's written um, by an autistic author and features a character who discovers that or gets that diagnosis of autism in the middle of the book. So I'm really interested to read um, The Kiss Quotient. So we'll see how we go because I, as you've seen, I've got some ambitious plans. So if that's not looking possible, I'm going to read um, this one called Kid Gloves uh, by Julie Hunt and Dale Newman. And this is a, I guess you would call it a graphic novel. Um, yeah. I actually started this, um, I don't know if you can see, there's a bookmark part way through there, um, and got a fair way. I didn't love it, but I'd like to get it done um, so that if I if I love it, then it's something that I can keep and, and, and enjoy in the end, uh, if I love it, sorry, um, it'll be something I can keep and enjoy, but otherwise so that I can pass it on. Um, so I'd like to get done with this book. I've had this for some time now. Um, so definitely I would like to get it done at some point. So if it's not looking possible to do the Kiss Quotient, I'm going to read this book, Kid Gloves. So that's a possible. Um, so that's that prompt, the K prompt. Then the next prompt, and this is an optional prompt, but I'm going to try and do it, is a book with a, co a colour in the title. And again, this is one that I have on my Kindle because I've recently just been thinking about how many books I buy on Kindle and just never get to. So I've been trying to incorporate that in <laughs> with, with my plans, my TBR plans each month um, to incorporate some Kindle books. Last month, I didn't read anything on my Kindle in October. So I'd like to read at least one or two books on my Kindle this month. Uh, so the book that I've selected for that is called Silver in the Wood. Uh, by Emily Tesh, I believe. Um, I don't know much about this book. I believe it's uh, sort of within the fantasy genre, but I don't know if it's what kind of fantasy it is. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna try and get to that one. And then the final prompt for uh, the readathon is um, rereading a children's, a, a favourite from your childhood. And I could not go past this. Um, so this was, it's The Queen's Nose by Dick King Smith, um, which was my favourite book when I was at school. I remember borrowing this from the library at my school. Um, <laughs> hello, Xanthi. And I loved it. I was so excited um, by this book. I haven't reread it since, but I did some years ago now, like 15 years ago, 
I um, there's a bookshop in Australia called Berkelo Books and I don't know if they still do this because I haven't tried to utilize this service for some time um, but they used to and probably still do have a rare and out of print book search um, so subsequently to me finding this this book has been reprint there, there, are, there are newer editions of this book but I was keen this is the same edition that I had at school um, in the school library <laughs> uh, so I used that service and they were able to find me a copy um, of the Queen's Nose and the premise of this book is um, so uh, we've got a girl I believe Harmony, a girl called Harmony, and she has an uncle called that she calls Uncle Ginger. I don't know if that's, I can't remember if that's his actual name or a nickname, but Uncle Ginger has given her these clues, and the clues lead to a fifty pence piece. Um, so set in set in um, the UK in England, I believe, um, and she's a bit disappointed when she finds that the clues lead uh, have led her to, to a just what seems like a regular 50p piece but it turns out um that it's not an ordinary coin um so there's definitely some magic and some fun here so this is a nice short uh, middle grade read so i'm i feel like i can i can get through this one so this is again one of the optional prompts but i am going to try and do it so i hope that this month has been a little bit more doable <laughs> compared to last month um we've got a few books here plus my two on the kindle um and yeah we'll see we'll see how we do i'm gonna try i'm gonna try my absolute best to get through all of these books this month um but you know things happen October was a crazy month. It just didn't quite get there. So I'm hoping that November's a little bit more chill and I'm able to get a lot more reading done. All right, so that's my TBR for this month. Have you read any of these books? Um, do, do you recommend the ones? Obviously, I've read this one before, but I haven't read any of the others. So um, I'm keen to hear your thoughts if you've read them. Have you loved them? Have you hated them? What's the... What's the vibe? Are we, am I on, onto a good thing here? <laughs> or am I going to have a horrible month? I hope not. I hope it's the, the former, that it's good vibes only from here on in. Uh, so <laughs> thank you very much for stopping by um, my channel and for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. See you on the next one. Bye for now.